Mayo. This is second topic of matrix. As far as matrix is concerned, this is very important for CBSC as well as J mains and J advanced. So today I am discussing just basics of uh, transpose of matrix, symmetricity, ischemic, and many more. First of all, I am going to define what is a transpose of a matrix. Transpose of matrix. Suppose A is any matrix of order M by N, then transpose of this matrix is defined and denoted by like this AT and this is a matrix obtained by interchanging the positions. For example, and this matrix will be of order N by N. For example, if I say a matrix of order 2 by 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, this matrix is of order 2 by 3. Then its transpose is a matrix of order 3 by 2 and it is obtained by converting first row into first column and second row into second column. You just look at this matrix, this position is called 1, 2 and now this 1, 2 position is shifted to 2, 1. This position is 1, 3 and this is 52, 3, 1. This is 2, 1 and this is 52, 1, 2. This is uh, 2, 2, 52, 2, 2 and this is 2, 3, 52, 3, 2. So, transpose of a matrix is a matrix which is obtained by converting rows into columns. Now, if we talk about properties of transpose, then first property is if you do transpose of transpose of matrix then it is nothing but matrix itself fine then second property is if you do transpose of sum of two matrices then transpose distributes on a and b both you can say transpose of sum equals sum of transpose third property is a minus b whole transpose that means transpose of difference is difference of transpose and if we do transpose of the product of matrices then it follows reversal law and that is B transpose into A transpose. In general if I take three matrices in product ABC then this is C transpose, B transpose and A transpose and one more property if you do transpose of constant with matrix then as you know transpose is the property of matrix it is not the property of constant so transpose does not have any effect on the constant and this transpose comes on a only so this is the concept of transpose and these are the properties of transpose now i am uh, defining the new uh, new thing of matrix that is a symmetric matrix if A is any matrix, if A is any square matrix, square matrix such that, what is the quality of A? Such that transpose of A is equals to A, then, then A is called symmetric matrix, symmetric matrix. That means if A is a square matrix, then transpose will be of same order. And if transpose of A is equals to A, then your matrix is said to be a symmetric matrix. In other words, in other words, if if I say element in ith row and gth column is equals to element in gth row and ith column for all i and j, then your matrix is called symmetric matrix. For example, we can take a matrix like 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, this is 2, 
3, 0, 1, 1 and 4. This is a matrix of order 3 by 3. And if I want to check whether this matrix is symmetric or not, then ideally I should find transpose of it. And if it comes A, then I will say matrix is symmetric. So I am finding out transpose of it and they will see whether it is equal to A or not. First row is changing to first column, second row is changing to second column and third row is changing to third column. Now question arises whether this outcome is equal to A or not. Just look at this. This is A. This is transpose of A. And both are exactly same. So you can say A transpose equals to A or we can say A is symmetric matrix. So you have proved that this matrix is symmetric. We can check in an alternative method also. If you look at this position, this is 1, 2. This is 2, 1. So both the positions are interchange and are equal. If you look at this position, this is 1, 3. And this is 3, 1. Again, both are equal. This position is 2, 3. And this is 3, 2. Both are equal. So on the grounds of this quality, this condition, I can say this matrix is symmetric. Now, the question arises, what is a skew symmetric matrix? So next is a skew symmetric matrix. A skew symmetric matrix. If A is any a square matrix such that such that transpose of A is equals to minus A, then A is called a skew symmetric matrix. This is the definition of a skew symmetric symmetric matrix. So it's clear from here if matrix uh, transpose of matrix is minus A, then your matrix has to be a skew symmetric. In other words, on the basis of positions of the elements, we can have another condition. In other words, for a skew symmetric matrix, for a skew symmetric matrix, Aij is equal to minus Aji for all i and j's. This is another condition for matrix to be a skew symmetric. For example, if I take a matrix of order 3 by 3, this is 0, 1, minus 2, minus 1, 2, 0, 4, minus 4 and 0. This is the matrix. And I want to check whether this matrix is symmetric or skew symmetric. In order to check symmetric or skew symmetric, I need to find transpose of A. If it comes same as A, then symmetric. If it comes minus of A, then it is skew symmetric. So I am finding out this transpose. And this is first row converted to first column. Second row into second column, third row into third column. Okay. Now look at this and this. Are they equal? If you look at one two position, this is one, this is minus one. So obviously these two matrices are not equal. Now look at the next position. This is minus two, this is two. Means magnitude wise they are same, but they are differing in minus sign. Now look at this position. This is two one. This is 2, 1, but both are same, but again differing in minus sign. So if you look at all the positions, then all the positions are same, just they are differing in minus sign. That means you can take minus common. If you take minus common, 0, 1, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 4, 2, minus 4, and 0. Now, if you look at this and this, this and this both are equal. So we can say this is minus a, and on behalf of the definition of the skew symmetric matrix you can say a is skew symmetric matrix skew symmetric matrix so uh, this is the example of skew symmetric matrix if you look at the diagonal positions these three then all the diagonal positions are especially zero in skew symmetric matrix sometimes uh, a question is asked in board examination, uh, like prove that all the main diagonal elements of a skew symmetric matrix are zero. Question is, so I'm proving prove that, that all main diagonal elements of a skew symmetric matrix are zero. So I'm taking let A is any 
एसक्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स एसक्यू सिमेट्रिक मैट्रिक्स एंड आई हैव टू प्रूव दैट ऑल द मेन डायगनल एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दिस मैट्रिक्स आर ऑलवेज जीरो यू ऑल नो सिंस इट इज एसक्यू सिमेट्रिक सो दिस इज ट्रू फॉर ऑल आई एन जी now i have to talk about uh, diagonal positions and diagonal positions are 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 and so on so if i make i and j equal then this position will be called diagonal position now i am taking uh, four diagonal elements for diagonal positions you have diagonal elements i equals to j then a i i is equals to minus a i i for all i shift this right hand side to left hand side it becomes 2 times a i i equals to 0 and a i i is 0 for all i so if you put i equals to 1 then it is a 1 0 if you put i equals to 2 2 to 0 if you put 3 then a 3 to 0 and so on so on the basis of 1 1 0 2 2 0 3 3 0 you can say all main diagonal positions are zero always for skew symmetric matrix now i take another question for the support of symmetric and skew symmetric matrix first question is if a is any a square matrix then Number one, A plus A T is symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix. And second, A minus A T is skew symmetric matrix. And third one is A into A transpose is symmetric matrix. so i have to prove these three things symmetric matrix and only i have a is any square matrix so i am proving first one a is let a is a square matrix a square matrix now i have to talk about a plus at i have to prove that this is symmetric matrix and you all know for the symmetricity and for the skew symmetricity you have to check the transpose of the main matrix if it comes same then it is symmetric so if you find transpose of it then by the law of by the property of transpose you can easily say this is equals to at plus at whole t and this is nothing but a itself at plus a and we all know at plus a is equals to a plus at now if you look at this is equals to this so i can easily say a plus a transpose is symmetric matrix symmetric matrix now second option second option was prove that a minus at is skew symmetric so i am taking now a minus at i am taking its transpose and checking whether it is coming minus of this or not so transpose of a minus at will be a transpose minus transpose of at we all know this is equals to a and if i take minus common then it is a minus at now look at this this transpose equals to minus of itself so from here i can say a minus at is skew symmetric matrix symmetric matrix now we are left with third option that is a into at is symmetric matrix again so i am taking third one i am doing its transpose and i will check whether outcome is same or not then this is transpose of product and you all know for the transpose of the product we should follow reversal law so this second matrix will come on first place and first one will come for uh, will go for second place so this is transpose of transpose and this becomes a transpose this is a into at so this matrix is equals to this so you can say a into at 
is symmetric matrix. Symmetric matrix.